Hello and welcome to round three with Esper Zur. Our opponent has a absolutely delightful screen name, but uh, I'm now trying to go back through my lore knowledge to figure out who could be considered Urza's roommate. Like, pretty, th pretty sure Zantia would be uh, on Sarah's realm. Baron to some extent, probably. Uh, he had a wife at one point. I don't know what the game's history was like early after reread Brothers War for that. It's been a while. Anyways, our opponent's mulliganing to four. We kept the hand that casts guys to St. Traft and has interaction, so. Well, okay. I'm going to guess that I would like to cast this creeping, or play this creeping tar pit. You don't cast lands. Okay. Well. I don't know if I want to path that or not. Uh, yeah, probably do. I'm okay giving my opponent a land when they're down on cards just because it saves me life. Actually, like a very significant amount. Even if they play idle on. I'm actually in a pretty good beatdown spot. Really good against anything but idle on here. Yep, very good against that especially. No need to play the fetch land. I just don't even want to put it on the battlefield. Very lucky here to steal a game against Burn, I think. We just have to connect with this tar pit once to accelerate the clock a little bit. Well, that's a dead card. That's a dead guide. I guess we'll play it now that we don't really want to use it. I don't really want to just kind of jam tar pit in there for no reason. And honestly, I'd almost rather block with the tar pit than anything else. Though really, I don't even know if I want to animate it because I think that... Yeah, the odds of me just getting searing blazed are higher than me carrying. So we'll put our opponent to two. I guess they can Searing Blaze the Angel. It's not something I really considered. Loose definition of hexproof here. Probably just gonna fire off this D sphere. I guess if the angel doesn't hit, I don't necessarily want to. Okay, so the angel's connected. I still have an island in my deck, so I'm good there. I'll just deer just I can't I can't think of any combination of three cards that deals the lethal amount of damage through negate here. Um, but if they have a uh, Swiss Spear on the battlefield, maybe there's like some weird sequence with pump spells. I don't know. Well, that was a, a good game to steal. So, good cards, good cards, good cards. So I have nine cards for this matchup, it looks like. There's probably good. Lingering Souls can get shaved. I'm not huge on prison here. Jace is quite bad. Thoughtseize is abominable. Jace is just not doing anything. I'm going to cut a Lingering Souls too, just because it's slow. Jace is actually actively making our timely reinforcements worse, is what it is. Though I guess it does flash those back. I do like Spreading Seas a lot against that deck. Um, even though my only rule is path, you can cut them off of their green or white source. Let's cut like a souls for a Jace.
Probably cut a D-Sphere, too, for another Jace. D-Sphere doesn't seem that great on the draw, especially. While supporting an E, which is effectively D-Sphere in a lot of spots. You can... Also, EE to kill an Eidolon when D-Sphere wouldn't do it. My opponent's also possibly slash probably... Well, I guess they didn't see anything for it. Um, but they could board in Destructive Revelry if they know what's going on. Um, and then D-Sphere gets pretty bad. Let's do that as a result of that, though. Sure. I'm okay with this. Gosh, I now want to look back. You no, know, like, Ur Urza had to have gone to some kind of school. He definitely had a roommate. He had, like, a wife and son in, like, a respectable government position, I believe. Oh my gosh, that's terrible for our opponent. More mulligans? I will snap keep my two answer hand. Ugh. Wow. Today is just not their day. Just gonna get punked out by this deck. Okay, so there's an Akadal. I'm pretty sure I wanna go. Path Inquisition and not the other way around. This is this is better against anything but Eidolon of the Great Rubble, which it's quite bad against. I guess... Now, you know what? It's actually pretty bad against any second creature. So I'd rather play around that and take three damage. Hmm. Well... Pretty sure the bonus goblin guide's worth more damage. So there's a Boros charm and a guide. That is an excellent draw on my part. <sighs> really don't want to play a fetch land if I don't have to. Opponent has to be so sad to see that in a row. Just runner, runner, timely. Oh boy. This is very bad for them. Pretty sure I want to fetch Basic Island here. Just complete the trio. We're also even out of range of them, Boros Charming themselves. Sure. You know what? Uh, you know what creature costs uh, costs four? Zer, the freaking enchanter. I, I I don't know what you're supposed to think when that happens to you. Oh my gosh, my phone's gonna get steal the godheaded next turn. Oh my gosh, this is terrible for them. I think that. They actually were supposed to not do that with Boros Charm. Okay. I think they were actually supposed to hold Boros Charm to represent some weird combat situation. Oh my gosh, this is a Legend 2 for Castle? Jeez. So this is Lethal in 2. So... Click the auras to attach them. Gotcha. <laughs> that is. Can't beat a three power lifelink creature. I think my opponent still had the Boros Charm in their hand. They die in two, but if I don't have the Geist follow up, the combat step gets really awkward for them. Or for me, at least. Um, I have to go, like, double block the Eidolon. 
then they Boros Charm keep all their stuff. I guess it's about the same. Four damage, either way. I just wanted to put two Steel the Godheads on my cards. Is that too much to ask? I just want to let them know that I'm playing two of that card. <laughs> 